Tesla has quietly unveiled a fleet of new Tesla semi-electric trucks as part of its new financial result report yesterday. Yet, there is no word on the status of the production and customer deliveries of Tesla Semi. The situation around the Tesla Semi has been unclear over the last few months. The electric truck has already been delayed several times as it was originally supposed to be delivered in 2019. While Tesla has been making progress toward bringing its electric semi truck to low volume production in Nevada. The automaker confirmed last year that customer deliveries of the Tesla Semi are pushed to 2022. Some new prototypes have already been spotted around Gigafactory in Nevada over the last few months and the CEO of PepsiCo even said that he was expecting to get his first few Tesla Semi trucks by the end of the year 2021. And I've reported on that. That didn't happen, but the first deliveries could be very much imminent now. Tesla surprisingly didn't comment on the status of the Tesla semi, -produ Tesla semi production on its earnings report yesterday, but it did release a new image of a small fleet of four brand new units of Tesla Semi. This is the most Tesla Semi trucks that we have ever seen at the same place ever. They appear to be parked at Tesla's new mega charger station at Gigafactory in Nevada, where the automaker has deployed some low volume production capacity. While Tesla didn't comment on the status of the vehicle program in the earnings report, the company could comment on it in the following conference call. Shareholders are going to be looking at an update Date on the production specs, pricing, and the better look at the production ramp uh, of Tesla Semi, which is going to be needed to start making a dent in the long backlog of orders. So let's follow us, friends, so we can see what happens uh, with this uh, conference coming soon. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you like the Tesla Semis, four of them that Tesla has released? And uh, have a wonderful day. Please subscribe to our channel. Give us thumbs up and like this video and let's move on to our next Tesla story. Elon Musk has been test driving the Tesla Cybertruck prototype that you have been seeing on Giga Texas grounds this couple of days and he says it's been awesome and Tesla could clarify plans for awesome and mysterious new Cybertruck prototype, prototype during the quarter four call. Well, welcome back friends, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and also please um, uh, give, give us thumbs up and like this video please. Elon Musk said that he has been driving the latest Cybertruck prototype around Tesla's new factory in Austin at Giga, Texas, describing the revised all-electric pickup truck as awesome. Tesla has a real chance to clear up any confusion regarding the company's plans for the Cybertruck including which variants will enter production and what reservation holders next move should be, says Joey Klender in today's Tesla Roddy. And I agree with him because in today's quarter four uh, call, we will have probably lots of answers, not only about Cybertruck, but Giga Berlin, Giga Texas, Tesla Semi, and so on. Earlier this week, leaked photos of an updated Tesla Cybertruck appeared from the Texas Giga factory via the Cybertruck owners forum. It was sporting several Several new changes, including what appears to be slightly reduced dimensions, a revised charge port cover location, revised side mirror design, and a lock of door handles. Small dimensions are probably to enter the garage because you know in these days the houses sometimes the garage area is so uh, small that you know barely two SUVs can fit in the garage. So, however, there is some uncertainty regarding the Cybertruck's production status. After initial projections for manufacturing were set for late 2021 when the truck was unveiled in 2019, Tesla pushed back the first production dates for 2022. That was until the date was removed from the site and reports circulated that the Cybertruck would not be built until 2023. There is no word on why the Cybertruck has remained relatively unconfirmed in terms of an 
initial production date. We know that Musk, from his several appearances on Joe Rogan Experience podcast, was thinking of revising the dimensions by around 3%. The new prototype seems to have a smaller, smaller frame and figure, which would make it possible to drive it other markets and would help it fit in a snug garage. Additionally, there has been some speculation that Tesla will scrap the single motor variant in favor of dual, tri and quad motor powertrains instead. Tesla has not confirmed these updates to any reservation holder as it would likely have to contract nearly everyone, contact actually nearly everyone on the list advising them to change their suggested powertrain and we're talking about close to 1 million from to 600,000 to 1 million people. Now Elon Musk um, test drove the Cybertruck and tweeted yesterday saying, been driving latest Cybertruck prototype around Giga Texas, it's awesome. Musk did confirm the existence of the quad motor powertrain and suggested Cybertruck production at Giga Factory Texas will begin with this stream level. If this is the case, Tesla will need to begin routine communications with any reservation holder, giving them the opportunity to update their order. In the past, the company has uh, not done this in a timely fashion, especially with the long range rear wheel drive Model Y and most recently the seating layout of the Model X plot. Tesla is expected to update the company's product roadmap at the quarter four and full year 2021 earnings call later today. What are your expectations, friends, from that call? What do you expect Elon Musk will talk about this evening? And what questions you would like to be answered? I'd like to hear your comments uh, in the comment section below. This is Armin Harayan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. Give us thumbs up, please. And let's move on to our next next Tesla story. Breaking news from Tesla Giga Berlin friends this morning. Tesla confirmed delivery of Model Y from Giga Berlin in March. In an internal email, Tesla has confirmed its plan to begin deliveries of the Model Y performance from Giga Berlin in Grünheide in March. Previously, a change in the configuration had only indicated it, but now, as Electric.net reports, Tesla has confirmed it. In the email to employees the ger in Germany, which was published in the German Tesla Drivers and Friends Forum, TFF, March is mentioned as the expected start of the delivery for the Model Y performance from the German Gigafactory Giga Berlin. The model performance from Berlin can now also be ordered and will be probably reach us from March, it said. In fact, my friend source from Slovenia in Europe also said that he had received a phone call from Tesla Giga Berlin saying the deliveries will happen in March and that he was going to have an email in writing this week. Observers had already suspected that but since a change was made in the configurator in January, a delivery date for black and white Model Y performance has now been announced for March for the other finishes in May. Previously, the performance version was only set to be early 2022 from Tesla Giga Berlin. A specific delivery in March could have meant an import or performance models from China, but the mail confirms the probable production in Germany. So, Tesla Giga Berlin is going to start first deliveries in early March. The configurator update also made some other changes for the 2022 model year, including the long range model in Germany, it's called Maximum Range, which continues to come from China thanks to a new battery. The WLTP range of Model Y LR increases from 507 to 532 kilometers, 533 kilometers, and I report reported this on Saturday. However, Tesla has only homo um, homologated the version with the less aerodynamic 20-inch rims according to WLTP. With the 19-inch models, the Model Y has an estimated range of 565 kilometers. The longer range, thanks to an improved energy density of the battery, is also
also confirmed in the Tesla mail. From a technical point of view, other changes for the 2022 model year include a 15 volt lithium ion battery, which replaces the previous 12 volt battery. In addition, according to Tesla email, a faster processor for improved operation is installed. This should be the AMD Ryzen known from the Model S refresh instead of an Intel processor, since some Model Y performance were already delivered with this processor in China, this step was expected. Interesting for the occupants and driver of the Model Y, in the Model Y double gaze windows are now also being installed on the rear doors to improve the acoustics. The now standard parcel shell should also continue to this in order to insulate noise from the trunk. There is also an improved music system and heated fiber plates. So a lot of good improvements in 2022 Model Y that is coming from Giga Berlin. All the changes mentioned from the battery to the windscreen wipers now also apply to the Model 3. The range increases to up to 626 kilometers estimated range with the 18 inch rims and 602 kilometers according to WLTP with the 19 inch rims. One exception, the Model 3 still only has double glazed windows in the front doors. Now Giga Texas in the meantime will also launch in March but with 46 AD cells. This is another breaking story. Not only Grünheide is the start of the delivery in the first quarter, Electric claims to have learned from insider sources that Tesla plans to deliver the first Model Y from the new factory in Texas, Giga Texas before the end of the first quarter. Since both the Model Y production in Texas and production in 4680 cells are a few months behind schedule, another report from the past few weeks is less surprising because we also, according to information from Reuters, Tesla is postponing the start of production for the Cybertruck until the end of the first uh, quarter of 2023. But the exciting news is that Tesla confirmed that delivery of Model Y from Grünheide in Giga Berlin is going to happen in March. Two years after the start of construction, Tesla will deliver March uh, Giga Berlin made Model Ys. Friends, exciting news. What do you think? Let me know about this. Your thoughts in the comment section below. This is Armin Haryan from Torque News. Please subscribe to our channel for I have three more breaking news coming from Tesla today. And also give us thumbs up and like this video, friends. Share in social media. I would greatly appreciate it. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you, everyone. And let's move on to our next Tesla story.